Hey guys, and welcome to the first episode of this season of Icy Ramen Living World, where we are going to be telling a giant, giant story on this Icy Ramen server. Now, if you guys remember over a year ago when we first launched OG Icy Ramen a long time ago, kind of did a video like this. If you guys are new, then you don't know what I'm talking about. But basically, this server is going to be paid to enter. So as I'm going over these, these things, if you like what you're seeing, make sure you stop down in the description it is $15 to enter. And we are expecting a ton of people on launch day, which is potentially going to be this weekend. So um, going over a few things that this mod has to offer for you guys, there is a ton. So we're going to go over a little bit and then we're going to be starting off this episode too. So it's not just a basically overview of the server, but we're also going to be playing. So let's go ahead, start by going over some of the things that are in the Mafiox anime mod. Basically, there's all of the natures, a ton of Keke Genkai, Dojutsu's, tail beasts you guys name it there is everything in this mod there's kazakage stuff obviously there's body flicker which is actually a really cool technique there's military pills there's obviously the jogan um akatsuki which you know eventually as you guys know on my uh channel we love being akatsuki uh there's a ton of fire jutsus hazuki water arm there's wood release there's kunai there's shuriken there's matatabi flame there's ice there's literally everything mangekyo sharingan renegan um super super like expansion jutsu kind of in a way too there is a ton of stuff in this there's the eight gates dude there's just so much in this mod and you guys don't want to miss out on this there's also legendary swords i could just go on and on and on about how much there is in this mod but not only is there that stuff in the mod but as you guys can see where i'm at right now there is basically all of the five main villages as well as side villages random stuff around the map and more in this server so right now we're in the stone village which is actually looking pretty pretty good uh this stone village looks awesome compared to some of the other maps but uh we have a bunch of custom builds in this map as well which i'll go ahead and show you guys one of those right now so this is actually one of the newer builds and a uh, big thank you to the build team if you guys are watching this. This is the Tsuchigumo village. This was built by hand and it looks absolutely amazing. This is just one of the very, very many builds that we have in the server. If you guys have watched some of my other videos, you know that there are a ton of builds, but not only are there a ton of jutsus, a ton of builds, all the main areas and everything like that, but there is quests now there is a ton of quests i could not possibly go over every single one in one video but as you can see here there are quests to be able to unlock your jutsus there's the first five main nature affinities there's world bosses kk genkai clans we have all of the clans there's i think 21 clans in this mod and we have all of them in here there is also obviously storylines for each of the villages which are forever expanding everything that you see here is being expanded on as time goes so there's a bunch a bunch of stuff that you guys will be able to do over time so if you guys weren't sold already we're gonna go ahead and hop in to the actual episode now and uh, you know if you are sold then go ahead and drop down in the description and go ahead and get your access and I hope to see you guys there but if you guys are just here for the video then um, I guess let's go ahead and start off off the lore of this season which is going to be very very different from my past ones you guys are going to love this so drop a like subscribe let's go ahead and hop on in oh what is this what wait where am i i'm drowning hold on let me break out of this let me break out of this hold on hold on hold on oh my gosh oh we made it out okay wait what is going on what is all this who am i hello there's nobody else in these test tubes it seems like i was the only one what is this? Oh, Jugo Clan. Okay, I use that. Random nature. Random nature. Two random natures. Okay. And some suspicious ramen. I guess I'll be taking that too. Um, so it seems like I'm a part of some clan called the Jugo Clan. And uh, I got two random natures. So let's go ahead and use these real quick. Let's see what we get. Okay, so we got lightning we got wind okay that's not bad that is not bad so we it seems like whoever we are we were born from a jugo clan and we start out with lightning and wind nature okay all right so to get these natures implanted into me i have to left click these boom and boom now i have the skill learners which uh i don't think that i'm going to be able to do anything with yet as i am level one with zero experience of anything so i need to figure out why i'm here 
who put me here and what my purpose is in this world. So let's go ahead, walk out here. Who are these guys? Do you guys, do you guys know what's going on? Oh no, they don't know what's going on. Hold on, wait, are they, are they holding me hostage in here? Am I a prisoner? Oh, I definitely, I'm definitely a prisoner. These guys are trying to attack me. Hold on. Come on, come on, please. Oh, they die. Come on, please, please, please. Come on. I gotta do some damage to these guys. I just came out of a, I don't even know what I came out of. Oh, there's one, there's one. Okay, I got one. It looks like you dropped XP. Okay, I got, I got both, I got both. We're good, we're good. Wait, what is going on? Why am I being attacked? What is this all for? What is happening? What? Oh, yo! Wait, I look different now. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I am I am buffed up. Hold on. Let me eat this suspicious ramen. Probably not the best of ideas. But seeing that I am a prisoner, I should probably be careful. It looks like I got some type of giant power boost. I don't know what's up with that, but it's definitely because those guys attacked me. Oh, there's more. There's more. Okay. Okay, we're gonna have to attack these guys. Hopefully this big strength buff helps me. Come on, come on. These guys gotta, these guys gotta die easier, right? Please. Bro, I am, I'm the Jugo clan and I have strength, like what? Yeah, strength two and I look sick. These guys gotta be taken out. Gosh, these guys aren't even bad though. These guys are not bad. I gotta like click these guys super fast to be able to kill them. Come on, come on, please. Please die, please die, please die, please die, please die. Please die. These guys are stronger. Okay, there goes one. There goes one. We gotta get this other guy. Please. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Gosh, how did the other guy die so fast, but this guy's not? Whoever's keeping me here has to be powerful if this is just the guards. Imagine how powerful the whoever's keeping me here is. Dude, there's no way that this guy's still here. This is like the best, this is like the best guard ninja of all time. Whoever, bro, why ever I'm here, they definitely trained up these guards to be like super, super OP for some reason. There we go. He's gone. Oh my gosh. That took like all my strength. Jeez. Okay. Well, I'm still in this form. So we should check in here. Nothing in here. Nope. Nothing. Nothing in there. Nothing in the barrel. So it looks like this is some type of prison. I don't know what's going on. All right, well, let me find my way out of here. Looks like that way I'm seeing, I'm seeing something. Let's go, let's go check out and see what this is. Uh, anything? Oh yeah, no, that's blood. I'm going to go the other way. I'm going to go the other way and see, uh, see if we can't get out of here. I need to escape this prison. I need to escape this prison. I don't know who's keeping me here, but I'm obviously here for a reason and it can't be a good one. Oh my gosh. This looks so cool. Why is this so bright? Oh my gosh, my eyes. Hold on, let me adjust to this. Oh, hello. What are you doing here, Icy Man? Are you who's keeping me in this prison? I am Orochimaru. Well, whoever you are, I want to I wanna leave. This is not where I belong. I don't know who I am or why I'm here, but you can't just keep me here like this. You won't be going anywhere. Oh no! Oh God, listen, I beat up your bodyguards down there. I think that I can take you too. Whatever you, whatever I am, Jugo clan, whatever, whatever this is, I have some type of giant power buff. I don't know if you can keep up with this. You cannot beat me, Icy Man. Come on. Oh God. Oh God, I'm not doing too hot. I'm not doing too hot. <sighs> okay. You're strong. You're strong. I'll give you that. I will give you that, but I'm leaving this place. Tell me, tell me who I am and where I belong before I leave. You can't keep me here forever. Your special ability. The curse mark. You use nature energy near you to infuse yourself. Okay, so is that why I'm in this crazy powerful form? You were my first experiment with the curse mark. Hmm. Well, if I was the first, I promise you that whenever I become more powerful and understand who I am and what this power is, I promise you I'll be the last. I will be back, Mr. Orochimaru. Goodbye. We gotta get out of here. I can't even run anymore. This guy damaged me so much. At least he's letting me leave. At least he was kind enough to let me leave. I don't know. Maybe since I was, he said that I was his first experiment. So maybe he like doesn't want to kill me because he almost did. Maybe he's just gonna keep watch over me in the world and see what I become. I don't know. This Orochimaru guy seems kind of sketchy to me, but that place was really cool. Let me see. Let me see if I can't go back there and see. I gotta remember what this place looks like so that 
so that I can come back and defeat this monster whenever I learn my powers. Speaking of that, he said that I have some type of curse mark, which uh, honestly can't be good. So I'm going to I'm going to turn this curse mark off. There we go. I'm not going to keep that on. Oh, there he is. There he is. Hold on. We got to sneak through here. Oh, God. Get out of my way, Leaf. OK, OK. So it's in some type of mountain over here. Gosh, I'm starving. I got to find a village. OK, yeah, no, this is I'll definitely be able to find this whenever we need to. This seems like some uh, what is this. Ooh, some yeah. Oh, giant snake head. Okay, yeah, no. We're definitely gonna be able to remember that. Let me let me go off in this direction so he doesn't know which way I went. Now, we're gonna we're gonna have to escape here. Oh god, what the heck is that, dude? He is watching me. Oh my gosh. Okay, no, I'm getting out of here, dude. What the heck was that? Okay, okay. So he is definitely gonna be watching me. Definitely gonna be watching me. We need to get out of here. We need to find somewhere. That's going to at least let me spend the night, get some food in my stomach. And uh, hopefully they're not too scared of me in this form. I guarantee that if I look like this, uh, I'm not going to be finding any friends. So we're going to we're going to stay in the space form and look for something. I got to remember this. We're going to be back, Orochimaru. So luckily, guys, I stumbled upon this village and bought some clothes with my one single Rio that I had. And I also used my XP. So we are now level 27. We've got 25 skill points and 25 jutsu points, which I think that we're going to go about getting jutsu a different way in this series. Um, I think that we're going to have to unlock it, not through just a learner. I think we're going to have to find a master, do some training, that kind of stuff. Let me know which one you guys would prefer to see down in the comments. But uh, we're going to put five into speed here because we got to be fast. We're going to put we're going to put 10 into medical and 10. Uh, should we go into taijutsu? Or should we go into ninjutsu? For now, I'm going to put it into taijutsu just because why not? I, I apparently got 11 out of that, but that's what our stack card is looking like now. Um, let's go ahead and put this up here. So what I'm trying to do here now is um, I just left the village. You know, we did some of that and uh, I at least have clothes now so that whoever I try to talk to in here doesn't um, doesn't see me as some like naked refugee basically so let's go ahead see if we can't find anybody uh, looks like there is somebody up on the top of this building oh he's gone wait I'm trying to find somebody to, to talk to about the Jugo clan and this this is a this is not a main village so I'm hoping to find you know somebody that knows something where'd he go he goes he in this house he's got to be in this house the this is a spooky house where is he oh Hello? I heard him follow me right behind. Hello. Um, I am just a normal person of the city, you know, uh, totally dressed normally. Um, I just so happen to not know who I am. Um, do you know anything about the Jugo clan? About oh, the Jugo clan? I actually been watching you for a while, I see. You know, I know a little something about the Jugo clan. Okay. Are you willing to but, tell me anything? I, I honestly have no recollection of who I am and like where I came from. I, I want to know the history of my clan at least so I know where to start. Well, you know, I have been looking for a Jugo clan member for a certain reason. You guys are the originator of the curse mark. That's what, uh, and that's what, a, or, um, somebody mentioned the curse mark to me before. Um, yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah. Well, you like know I was saying, about that? the curse mark is a very strong jutsu that you can acquire through your clan's ability. Okay. You guys gather nature energy and it suddenly becomes a surge of power for you. But also, I hear that you guys have a really bad anger problem. Yeah, so, uh, is that why, well, y never mind, I didn't escape a prison, I've lived here my whole life. Um, but, per All se, right. if I were to escape from some said prison, would uh would this kind of be what you were talking about yeah that would be yeah this uh, i woke in this from getting really angry well i mean i well i was shopping one night and someone yeah i was angry because i couldn't find the melons in time but you know that's <laughs> there's nothing there's nothing to be worried about i'm a friendly neighborhood uh basically curse mark man I guess so yeah that's me well <laughs> nothing I have to worry about here for you. okay what's your proposal propo the proposal is that you join me I know you have fits of anger and it's very hard to control for yourself 
I'll help you train and become stronger and be able to control that anger. See, mm. I um have a little bit of my a secret of myself. If you look at my back. Uh oh no, the Uchiha clan? Do the do the people of this village know? No one knows but you currently. So why would you but, trust me? This doesn't even make sense. I don't even know who I am, but yeah, you're trusting me with information that definitely should not be given to anybody. I know how it feels to be an outcast, Icy, and I need a strong partner, someone that can eventually lead for me. Hmm. I think that could be you. Well, I mean, I don't know who I am, but maybe we can figure that out and, uh, you know, I'm, I'm willing to at least learn how to control my anger because honestly, that little transformation that you saw, that's all I can manage without um, extremely going into a crazy rage. So um, by chance, uh, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll take your offer as consideration if you can uh, take me to, uh, I don't know, maybe the closest ramen shop. Uh, I haven't eaten in a few days. Um, I don't <laughs> have any money. All right. Yeah, I think I can help out with that ice. All right, so let's uh, let's go ahead and do that, and um, you know maybe we can talk over some ideals uh, of this so-called group, maybe over some ramen, huh? Sounds good to me. Uh, so uh, what's your name, yeah. by the way? <laughs> oh, this is good. This is good stuff. This is the best ramen place in town. So My name's Kato, Kato Uchiha. Okay, so oh, Kato Uchiha. Okay, so we got to keep that last name a bit of a secret, right? Um. But yeah, I mean, so this this uh, group, why why me? Why are you uh, so adamant on having me join this? What's uh, what's going on with that? I think what I want to do is make kind of like a balanced team, and I need a strong tank to be our front man. Okay, and I think that could be you. Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, since I am part of the Jugo clan, I think that I'll be able to handle it. What what is that behind me? Who is that? Do you see him? What, <gasps> bro? Bro, hold on, Kato. Did you see that? Did you see something over there? There was someone sitting right here, right? Am I, am I, or am I tripping? No, okay, so you saw it too. Okay. Okay, so that guy, whoever that was, um, so you know how I was saying how, you know, I definitely didn't escape from a prison? Orochimaru, isn't it? Uh, yeah, that's, that's who he is. Uh, I don't know anything about this guy. Who is he and why? Why was I in his prison and why am I one of his experiments? He said that I was his first experiment with with this so-called curse mark. He's a legendary Sonin from the Leaf Village. You have to be careful and stay away from him. He does a, tons of experiments on lots of different humans and clans. They're trying to find the secrets of immortality or something weird like that. He's even okay. came after me before for my Sharingan. Really? That's not surprising. I mean... You know, he was really strong. He definitely could have killed me if he wanted to, but luckily he let me leave. And, um, you know, especially since I saw him here, I have a feeling that he's going to be following me pretty much everywhere and keeping an eye on me since I am his first successful curse mark implant, apparently. So, you know, I guess we both got to be careful of this guy. And honestly, honestly, Kato, uh, one of my reasons of why I'm even considering joining your group is because... I want to be the first and the last that has to deal with this because the anger that's inside my head, I'm, I'm pretty good at suppressing it right now, but um, I definitely need help and I don't want anybody to have to, you know, deal with this or not know who they are again. This is, we need to put an end to him. I understand, I see. I'll help you train with all my might to become a strong ninja so we can take out Orochimaru together. That sounds good to me. Where can we start? All right. I know a training grounds outside the city. Let's head there. All right. That sounds good to me. All right, I see. So here we're going to be doing a little training. This is a little training area outside of the Rogue Village, but I'll mm -hmm. teach you something super advanced that you can eventually learn. Wait, actually, what natures are you? Um, so according to what I have uh, or what I know about myself, at least I have wind and lightning release. Um, I don't know. I don't know how to use any jutsu or infuse any of that chakra, though. So, um, yeah. I don't know. I don't know where to start. All right. So we're going to have to find you a teacher for the wind chakra. I can't help with that. I'm sorry. But okay. lightning I'm a master of, so I can teach you about that. Okay. Yeah, let's uh, right. let's start there then, I guess. My first jutsu. Do you think that I'll be able to learn something? All right. I'll show you my ultimate lightning jutsu, 
and I'll teach you that eventually, and then we'll teach you the beginning one, all right? Okay, yeah, that sounds good to me. Let's see it. So this will be the first one that I'll that you'll learn, Chidori Nagashi. Now this okay. will be a good defense jutsu as well as getting people off you if you need it. It basically just shoots electricity all around you. Okay, let's see it. All right. Oh, oh, I and can't also move. Slows your enemy. Okay. And also, you can use it as many times as you oh, want. Oh yeah, that's that's perfect. Okay. All right. Now I see this is the ultimate jutsu that I know. When you become strong oh. enough, you'll be able to use this too. Okay. Should I step back for this one? Yeah, I was gonna say probably don't use that <laughs> one on me. Let's see. Oh. Oh my gosh. Okay. What? Wait. What, who was that? What, bro. Wait, Kato. Did you just see that? What are you talking about? I didn't see anything. Are you paying I attention? I'm, I'm taking time out of my day to do this. I swear Orochimaru was in the tree. I swear no he way. was. I swear that he was just there. We just saw him in the ramen shop. Okay, but just so... Out, I see. No, no, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm calm. I'm good. What, uh, what jutsu, what's the name of that second jutsu there? Lightning style Kirin. Hmm. Okay. So basically lightning comes down from the sky and, uh... Basically hits the ground and lightnings it. <laughs> yeah, that sums it up actually. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. All so right. how do I how do I go about learning this um, Chidori Nagashi though? All right. First, we need to train your body though. Okay. Doesn't seem like you had a lot of training inside of that uh, facility. So. Yeah, I had no you, training. We'll practice kunai jutsus and then you'll fight some of my shadow clones and then we'll start forming chakra from there. So. Okay. So what do I do? Just. Throw these at these targets over here? Yeah, throw these at these targets and build up your arm strength. All right, so I'm going to do this. Oh, I threw that over. Okay. Um, There we go. Perfect. Let's see if we can hit this one. A little bit high. See if we can hit this one. Boom. Okay, you know, not too bad. Not too bad. I'd say that was pretty decent. So what? Just keep practicing this and then, uh, and then we'll kind of move on from there, I'm guessing. Yeah. All Eventually, right. you'll be able to form it. And then uh, we can move on from there. And then maybe uh, maybe we can give a shot at uh, looking up some uh, stuff about your clan. Yeah, that sounds good to me. I'm going to go ahead and practice this. And then I uh, guess I'll come get you whenever I feel like I've uh, trained up enough, huh? Sounds good. All right. Okay, so I think that I have done quite enough training. And uh, luckily, I have mastered Chidori Nagashi. Now, uh, luckily, I can see where I use it and it doesn't take very much chakra being that I don't have very much so that is honestly amazing obviously you know um I gotta make sure this crazy dude's not up here stalking me or anything but um honestly Chidori Nagashi not that bad of my first jutsu and honestly it does a good amount of damage eight damage per hit and um I also got basically 160 xp from all this training so let's go ahead and use that up I now have 33 skill points to be able to use we got to get our speed up. I want to keep, uh, you know what? Let's just max out our speed right here. Um, let's go ahead and put 10 more into medical. And then now, since I'm starting to learn jutsu, I am going to put 10 into ninjutsu. Um, and next time we'll go ahead and put more taijutsu in there. But um, Kato told me that uh, I have to meet him somewhere in the land of water. Uh, maybe the mist village. I think he mentioned um, I need to ask around for directions over there, but he said that I'll have no problem catching up because he has uh, some research to do on the way. I don't know what he meant by that, but, um, you know, we're going to figure it out and I'm going to follow him and uh, I'll tell you guys whenever I catch up to Kato. All right, so I've made it to what I believe is supposed to be the Mist Village. Now I just have to find Kato. Um, this place is actually pretty cool, honestly. Uh, oh, hey, Kato. How, how's it going? I found you. I see. You finally made it. Took you long enough. So why are we here in this uh, in the Mist Village? All right, so this is the guy's house. He's kind of eccentric, but uh, he's pretty strong. And he uh, should be able to help us with our mission of finding stuff about your clan. Okay, wait, so you we're here to recruit some people? Is that what I'm hearing? Yeah, we need, we're going to need a lot more people in our group. At least people we can trust. Okay, that this sounds guy, good. This guy, I fought with before. He's very trustworthy. You fought with him? Yeah. Well, okay. against each other, more like it, but... Oh, well, that, that sounds great. So should I be ready to... Oh. Hello? Hello there. Hello, Crayola. Thanks for having us today. What brings you two in here? Well, Cray, you remember that old conversation we had at the ramen shop about starting a new group? I think I remember. It's time. And this is my new friend, Icy. 
He's going to be uh, somewhat of a tank for our team. Hello. Okay. I don't know who I am or what I am here for, but I'm here. Oh, that's fine. That's, yeah. That's good with me. I, uh, my, my, uh, my creator, I guess I could say, is Orochimaru. I'm sure you've heard of him. He's apparently very popular around this world. Oh, yeah. I, I know who that is. Yeah. So, uh, my goal is to take him out, but I mean, you know Kato more than we know each other, so I'm just going to let him do the talking and, uh, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just honestly here for the ride at this point. I'm trying to learn as much jutsu as I can and become stronger to uh, eventually defeat Orochimaru. Makes sense. Makes sense. So I've been teaching him lightning, but he needs a wind trainer. So I was thinking maybe if you were ready for the proposal I gave you, we start taking missions together as a team, a three-man team, and then we start collecting our money, split it, you know, evenly three ways, and then maybe we can teach him, uh, Icy how to master wind and lightning at the same time. Okay. Yeah, I could do that. All right. All right. So uh, let me just show you just so in, in case I get angry at any time. Uh, you also probably won't want to make me mad. Um, This is what happens. Oh, wow. Yeah, I can't hold this form for very long right now because uh, I'm not mad currently. But if, you know, if things did start to happen, I would uh, I would go into that form. And hopefully Kato's going to help me start learning how to control that because... Um, does, does he know? Uh, yeah, he knows. Okay. Uh, yeah, because, uh, you know, his, uh, his, uh, you know, Uchiha abilities, if you know what I mean, so. Yeah, of course. So, yeah, that's, uh, I just wanted you to know that that is a curse mark, they call it. Um, I'm, s apparently his first successful, uh, basically, envelopment of that, so, you know, that's, that's a thing. Just thought you should know that. Okay. You know, uh, it looks similar to something I know of. What's that? Um... Yeah, Cray, yeah. uh, Cray's met Orochimaru too. Really? I have my own curse mark of my own, so. Oh, okay. Okay, I mean, yeah, that is, you know how to control it? Of course, of course. I can, uh, I can probably put it more longer than you, but, um, yeah, it's still pretty tough, even with me. Okay, so, I mean, that's crazy, because he told me that was the first curse mark implementation, basically. I mean, I guess I shouldn't believe him. Yeah, that makes sense. That oh, the first is in. The I'm the one that he tested everything mark. on. You're oh. the originator of the curse mark. I see. So this is a lot deeper than I thought, then, huh? Yeah. Why do okay. you think I'm interested in learning about your clan? That makes a lot more sense. Cause I was gonna say he definitely said that I was his first experiment. But I guess he didn't tell me that he didn't do other experiments along with me, so that would make sense. Um, I guess I was in that test tube for quite a long time then, huh? Yeah, so Craig can teach you wind, and he can teach you to slowly learn about your curse mark and how to control it a little bit better. And I'll be here to help you along the way with the Sharing Gun in case you get out of control. Okay, that sounds good to me. Alright guys, uh, I think our first, uh, first thing we need to do is find a place to live, huh? Yeah, probably, honestly. That, that would be a good start. All right, let's get out of here for the missed uh, Ambu show up. Yeah, probably a good idea. Um, you know, especially gonna, if they do know that you're in Uchiha. Uh, take my uh, legendary sword with me. You know, I, well, I'm sure they won't mind. Oh, your legendary sword? Yeah, I don't think I've told you I'm a legendary swordsman of the mist. Oh, oh okay. That, yeah, that would have been nice to know too. So you're, yeah, wow, okay. Wait, I didn't so, tell you that? No, you didn't tell me that. You'll think it would come up. Huh? Yeah, no. That. Yeah, we uh, we better get out of here quick. Okay, yeah, right, let's let's, let's let's leave. <laughs> All right, so now we just what, Akatsuki base or no? Because um, <laughs> you want so fast. What? <laughs> so we're the Akatsuki um, guys. So Jeez. this happened. We should call. <laughs> we should make sure that we call the group the Taco so that people don't like get confused right from the start. So uh, Kato, is this a is this a village that you were talking about? Yeah, this is uh, Kettle City. This is one of the side villages. This shouldn't draw a lot of attention so we could live here in peace. Okay. Me and uh, Cray bought some property here for us to live. Oh, so you're rich, rich. No, oh, no, just basically all of our mission earnings put together, huh, Cray? Yeah, you could say that. Okay, well, I mean, I'm trying to be like you, my boy. <laughs> well, we're going we're gonna to collect money together doing missions as uh, our new group. Okay, yeah, that sounds good. By the way, um, this group, what are we, what are we calling this? 
Well, I was thinking Taka. Okay, so we're the Taka. The Taka, yeah, the Taka. All right, that sounds that sounds pretty good. Sounds pretty good to me. This so tower this is what we bought here. Oh wow! So you bought the most extravagant place of this place. Okay, let's see. Let's see what this place is looking cool, like. Some, some. Ooh, okay. Used, I like used this. To the old uh, dining hall and uh, library. Oh, this is nice. How high does this go up? Oh, pretty. Oh my gosh, pretty high. Okay. Let me go all the way up here. Let me let me see the views. Let me see the views of the rich folk. I guess. Oh yeah. Oh, this is. Oh, wait. Hold on. Does it? Oh my gosh, it goes up even farther. Oh look, this. Oh, this place is dusty. We gotta clean this place up. Ah, uh, well, it was abandoned. So. That makes sense. That makes sense. So, uh, you know, since this is like at the center of the village, what do you guys say? We work on making some type of underground base. I mean, maybe that's because where I was basically the last thing I remember, or the first thing I remember, is living in an underground base. So you know, it would kind of make me feel like home. You know. Yeah, we can start working on that. We don't want the uh, citizens to stop by and see us doing anything uh, unsavory. Suspicious. Right, right, right. Okay. Well, I mean, this is a great, great start to this uh, adventure, guys. Um, it's been a lot of fun so far, and I hope that you guys are liking this new series. I hope you guys like the new approach that we're taking to it. Uh, kind of like a mix between OG living world and kind of like new style of my channel. I'm trying to please all you guys. So, you know, let us know what you want to see in the comments. Let us know what jutsus you want to see, maybe what storylines you want to see, all that kind of stuff. And uh, don't forget, if you guys want to sign up for the server, we are launching very soon. Again, potentially at this weekend, um, depending on when you guys are watching this, obviously. But um, the link for that is in the description. And uh, I hope to see you guys there. Don't forget to drop a like, subscribe. See you guys in the next one. Peace.